Laser pulses bounced off Apollo mirrors show the moon is drifting away, 3.8 centimeters each year. How can gravity make an orbit expand? Those Apollo mirrors are retro reflectors. They send light straight back to the source. The round trip takes about two and a half seconds, so we can measure the Earth-Moon distance, about three to four to four hundred kilometers, to within millimeters. And the distance keeps increasing year after year. That's weird because gravity only attracts. In an orbit, gravity is the inward bend that keeps a sideways moving object from flying off. If the moon lost speed, it would spiral inward. Yet the measurements say the opposite. The orbit is slowly widening. Does moving outward mean the moon is getting faster? Counterintuitively, higher orbits are slower. Now the moon circles Earth at about one kilometer per second. The much closer space station races around 7.7 .7 kilometers per second. Farther out, you can move more slowly and still not fall. So, why does drifting outward still require energy? Because orbital energy isn't just speed. It's also height in the gravitational field. Throw a ball upward. It slows down, but you had to pay energy to lift it. Gravity by itself can't pay that bill. Over an orbit, it gives back what it takes. Step back. Now the moon is gaining orbital energy, so something else. Our full video explaining this was posted recently. Check it out on our channel profile now.